Hi everyone, today we're going to be making a paper mache volcano and then watching the chemical eruption with vinegar and bicarb soda. I'll just switch my screen to the bench so then you can see and we'll start beginning to make our volcano. So for this volcano, we'll need a piece of cardboard for the base, a empty drink bottle container, some newspapers or paper and some PVA glue. First off, we need to stick our drink bottle onto the cardboard and scrunch up our newspaper and start by making the base of the actual volcano. So we just get our newspaper and kind of scrunch it around, depending on how big you want your volcano is to how big you make your base. You may need to wear gloves because it does get pretty messy. So once we have our base stuck down, we can then start on the next layer of our volcano. So we just got to build it up so it's in that sort of hill shape. So we just dip our paper into the glue. I have watered down this glue a little bit, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You could use a paintbrush and paint on the glue as well, but I find dipping it in makes it a lot easier. So our next step with our volcano, we need to make strips of the paper. You don't, they don't have to be perfect. You can just rip them and we can then start layering the strips of paper onto our mountain to make it nice and smooth. So we just dip, again, we just dip the paper into the glue and start layering it. You can make your volcano as big as you like or as small as you like, depending on what size drink bottle you have, is to how big a volcano you do. So it will be nice and messy. So just make sure you have something on the table to cover your table to protect it. So we're just going to keep adding our pieces on. This does is take a bit of a process to do to get it smooth. You can add it in all different layers and directions as well to make it a bit sturdier. So your volcano doesn't have to be perfectly even. Lots of volcanoes aren't exactly perfect. We just need to make sure we're now making the whole thing sturdy. We just gonna smooth it down a little bit. You can also let it dry in between layers if you've got plenty of time to make your volcano.
We just need to keep layering our newspaper until we get the desired shape that you would like for your volcano. Just gonna make sure it's stuck down. You can also put a layer of white paper over the top if you are wanting a nice white finish. Also, once your volcano is dry, you can decorate it before doing the eruption. So we have got one that I did earlier that I can show the eruption. I'll just put a few more pieces on and then I will get my other volcano out and then I can show you how to do the ingredients to make our volcano erupt. So this is a very messy activity. So as I said, make sure that our benches are full. Okay, so we're just gonna move this over. And I'll grab the other volcano that we made. So this one has been half painted and decorated. We also, for when doing the eruption, you need to make sure you have it in a big container or outside somewhere that it won't matter because it will go everywhere. So first off, we need to put some vinegar into our bottle. So you probably want to fill it maybe half full. A little bit more. And we also want a squirt of dishwashing liquid. We'll put that into our drink bottle as well. I'm just going to add a little bit more vinegar on top. So we also can add food colouring at this stage. If you are wanting the eruption to be a different colour, you can add some food colouring in. So I'll just put a few drops in. Put some yellow in as well to make orange. Now, after this step, we need to make a baking soda, like a slurry, a little bit of um, liquid. So we've got some water in a cup, oh, can't really see, and just some baking or baking soda or bicarb soda. We just need to make it a probably a few tablespoons of baking soda in some water. So this is to used to add to our cup for the actual chemical reaction with the vinegar. So I'm just mixing up some baking soda with a bit of water that you can see very well. And once we have got that mixed up, we can then pour it into the volcano. So again, just make sure that your volcano is in a large container or it's somewhere that it's okay for it to erupt because uh, it will go everywhere. So I'm going to pour my baking soda mixture into the volcano. And then you could see that it erupt everywhere. So it will make a lot of mess if you don't have it in a container. I hope everyone has lots of fun making their volcano. And I hope everyone has a great day and enjoys making the volcano. Thank you.